Do you worry about your risk of getting heart disease? Well, you can use our cardiovascular disease risk calculator to assess your risk. It might just be the motivation you need to change some of your bad habits. Christian here from Cardiac Rehab Online, and thank you for joining me today. We're talking about cardiovascular disease risk calculator, and it's a tool which enables you to calculate your risk for developing severe cardiovascular complications within the following 10 years. Our cardiovascular risk calculator is based on the results of the Framingham study and requires only a basic medical history to calculate your risk, and anyone can do this. Now, have you ever wondered why people have heart disease? Well, the term cardiovascular disease can refer to different heart or blood vessel problems. The most critical risk factor for developing a cardiovascular disease is damaging the heart or blood vessels by atherosclerosis and hypercholesterolemia. Too much stress in the system is one reason why the atherosclerosis develops. And this is when fatty plaque begins to build up in your arteries, which thickens and stiffens the artery walls and plugs the lumen of the artery, which can inhibit the blood flow through your arteries to your organs and tissues, including the muscles of your heart. Now, at first, patients don't usually have any symptoms, but eventually it can cause coronary artery disease, including heart attack, stroke, peripheral arterial disease, and chronic kidney failure. So this is why it's so important to regulate your lifestyle by controlling your diet to keep to your ideal weight, exercise regularly, strategies to deal with stress, get enough quality sleep, and many other factors to minimize the risks of coronary vascular disease and its consequences. The Framingham Heart Study is a long-term cohort study under the direction of the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute in collaboration with Boston University. Now, this study began in 1948 with 5,209 adults from Framingham, Massachusetts. And now it's on the third generation of participants. Before this study, there was very little data on epidemiology, which is the study and analysis of, and in this case, hypertension or atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, which is the blocked arteries. In the scientific world, it is considered an outstanding source of evidence because of its complexity and its duration. So more than 1,000 original medical papers have been published based on the Framingham Heart Study. The major findings from these studies are as follows. So that smoking cigarettes, being obese, having a high cholesterol level and elevated blood pressure increases the risk of heart disease. Exercise and high levels of HDL cholesterol reduce the risk of heart disease. Elevated blood pressure increases the risk of stroke. Filtered cigarettes do not lower the risk of heart disease as opposed to smoking without a filter. Okay, so about the cardiovascular disease risk calculator. Our CVD risk calculator is based on the article General Cardiovascular Risk Profile for Use in Primary Care. And this was published in 2008 in the medical journal Circulation by a group of scientists conducted by Dr. Agostino. In their study, authors describe a statistical model that assesses the 10-year risk of developing cardiovascular disease among primarily healthy people. Thanks to this work, you can use our heart disease risk calculator and check your risk for developing coronary heart disease, including heart attack, cerebrovascular disease, including stroke, peripheral vascular disease, and heart failure. This CVD risk calculator was prepared based on the medical history of 8,491 Framingham study participants. Analysis of the statistics revealed that a patient's risk of developing heart disease depends on the following factors. Sex, age, total cholesterol, high density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol, systolic blood pressure, treatment for hypertension, smoking and diabetes. 
For each of these features, you may receive anywhere from minus three to plus 15 points, depending on your gender. These are the so-called CVD points. The more points you get, the bigger your risk of cardiovascular disease is. Then these points are converted into percentages. They reflect the risk of developing at least one cardiovascular disease in the next 10 years. So how to calculate your CVD risk? So you will be directed to the CVD calculator for 10 year risk. Simply scroll down to the bottom and there you will find the CVD calculator. So the first box we're going to fill in is to choose your sex, so male or female. Second one is to fill in your age. The third one is your HDL cholesterol. And remember that this is in American units, so if you're elsewhere in the world you're going to need to convert it. And then also the total cholesterol, again in American units, so convert that before you put it in. And then write down your average systolic blood pressure and choose if you are also being treated for hypertension. Choose whether you're a smoker and or diabetic. And that's it, you've got your result. So please feel free to share this with us in the comments section below and also on Facebook at Cardiac Rehab Online. Okay, so now let's take some examples. We have here a 61 year old woman not treated for high blood pressure who has a total cholesterol of 180, HDL of 47 and systolic blood pressure of 124 and is a current smoker but is not diabetic. So she has an estimated 10 year CVD risk of 10%. Another example is a 53-year-old man on treatment for systolic blood pressure who has a total cholesterol of 161, HDL of 55, and systolic blood pressure of 125, and is diabetic but is not a current smoker. He has an estimated 10-year CVD risk of 15.6. Now, if you'd like to work out your individual risk, then please follow the link below in the description. It'll take you straight to the page where you can access this calculator for free and work out your percentage. So guys, in summary, so if you've completed the calculator and received your result, if it's a low risk score, then well done to you. Great work. However, if it's a high risk score and you're concerned about your future health and well-being, maybe it's time to do something about it. One thing you can do right now is to subscribe to this channel and get regular heart health updates and learn the essentials of how to keep your heart healthy. Guys, until next time, thank you for joining me today. See you soon.